Hey fellow gamers, welcome to As Reality Gaming. My name is Dustin, and today we're going to be reviewing the Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card and how to set it up correctly. Quick disclaimer, this video is no way sponsored by Elgato. Uh, I'm doing this purely on my own. I purchased this myself. Uh, Elgato, if you're watching this and want to throw me some, some kudos, um, I, won't, I won't say no. Let's review the Elgato 4K60 Pro capture card for HDR flawless capturing, uh, mostly for game systems. Uh, we've got PS4 Pro, Xbox One X, and of course, great for Twitch and YouTube. All right, I went ahead and already cut the seams here so that uh, they would not, you wouldn't have to see me fumble around with a knife. Okay, let's see. Let's put this open here. Looks like this is the way to do it. Okay. Let's see here, let's turn this around. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got some sort of a little metal chrome looking sticker thing with adhesive on the back. That's nice. Uh, what's this here? Looks like a little smaller back panel. Let's get this out of here. Go. Let's move this over here, there, open that in a sec, let's see, we got something else in here, not sure what this is, some sort of a, is it a manual or warranty in all different kinds of languages, everything but English it looks like, okay, let's see, do you have anything in the back, underneath, hidden away, oh we sure do. So it looks like some sort of a, let me pull this off. Some sort of a cable. Looks like HDMI. Let's see if that's true. Yep, HDMI. Great. One less thing you have to worry about buying. That's always nice. Put all this back in here. need the instructions for that or the manual warranty or whatever it is. Uh, let's get to looking at the card. There we go. Uh, looks very, very nice. Uh, look at that beautiful black circuit board. Front side here. Hmm. Just built they just seem so solid and built so well. These Elgato products, they don't spare any expense when it comes to the functionality, but also the, the quality of the craftsmanship in the products themselves. We've got our panels here. Turn this around. There we go, the in and the out. All right, one video capture card. Let's go install it, see what we got. Let's get this thing installed and see how we turn out. I, uh, hopefully there are no, haven't cleaned out this computer in a while, so hopefully there are no unsightly dust bunnies in here to embarrass myself with, but uh, should be okay, I think. Yes. Okay, the inside, and it looks like a slot right over there. So take out one of these pieces so we can fit it in there. There we go. Trying to get the right connection in here on the right spot. 
I want to push it in there. It's not ready to go. Hmm. It's being kind of a bugger. There, I think I got it. There we go. Clicked in there nicely, finally. I've got my screw to attach it back in. Pretty straightforward, it seems. No fanciness to it. Let me see from the inside here. Holding it still, right here, next to the video card. Well, let's go ahead and put the top back on and uh, see how we did. Uh, hopefully it won't be too much of a configuration to get it working. Okay, just showing the inside of the computer here with the Elgato card installed. It sits in a PCI Express slot or just a standard um, normal video slot. The software that you'll need in order to uh, get this set up correctly, uh, you can get from Elgato.com, uh, Gaming and then Downloads. Basically it's this link right here. And scrolling down we'll look for the 4K Capture Utility for Windows. You'll download this. It's a pretty straightforward download and installation. Uh, I've already done it so I won't try to do it again. Uh, and that'll get you set up. If you are going to be running the uh, Game Capture for PC games, uh, through your PC, you'll want to download this one as well. If you're just using console, this one won't be needed. Alright, here we've got the software installed for the Elgato card. Uh, these are the initial settings here. You can change it to 4K or just normal. Other options here as well, just kind of kept as default. Now we've got select your exact source here. And then these ones again I kept kind of as, as is. Over here you've got the options to change like brightness, capture, uh, and other color options there. Here are your options to be able to um, point where you're saving your capture. And then here are the options to either change it to a uh, having the encoding done on your CPU or on your GPU. Uh, if you do have it on your CPU you have to enable that link there. These are the options for your source again, for size, 1080 or 4K, and bit rates, etc. On this section here is for your mic. Uh, make sure to select the correct mic for yourself, and then adjust the gains, and do a, probably a test sample. Just make sure that you're not speaking too loudly. Down here is where you would click record once you've got your stream up and running, or your source up and running. And a mic check over there to kind of see your levels. Here's where your library is where any of your captures have been saved. You can view them in here or at the destination where you save them directly. If you're using a PS4, you're going to need to uh, make one setting change for the capture card to be able to uh, work with your Elgato 4K uh, card. Over here in settings, you scroll down to, let's see here, System, I think it is. Yeah, Systems. And then enable the HDCP. It needs to be unchecked. So we'll go back up here and I'll show you what it looks like when I check it. My source will disappear. So reach out. unchecking that again will bring the source back and you'll actually be able to see uh, your game footage being played through your card. Okay, if you're going to be using this capture card for high level streaming, you're going to need to do a few extra components to set this up. So in the settings cogwheel up here, uh, right now we've got this enabled stream link beta. Uh, you'll need to click on this and set your appropriate modes. Right now I'm just doing 1080. Uh, but if you click on this, it'll take you to the Elgato's website where it gives you some instructions on how to enable this feature in your uh, streaming platform. Right now I'm using uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, we'll walk through that in just a second. But um, these instructions right here, as I just did to enable that, um, coming down into here, you'll need to actually download um, another file, an OBS NDI redistributable, which takes you to, I believe it is a GitHub 
uh, you might need to sign up for an account to be able to download anyways going back you download this click on it reinstall it it's a pretty simple process not that hard uh, restart your PC and then in your capture uh, utility and the OBS studio you're gonna need to add an NDI source so to do that uh, right here on the plus button over here on the side is an NDI source click add source and there it is you just add the source like this and up on the top you can click on this, this cogwheel to be able to change what uh, what options you have here setting on the highest bandwidth, syncing, etc. I just kept everything else kind of at a standard rate but if we turn on the console here my PS4 actually going to disable that one, use the original one I have here you'll see that it does turn on and that everything is there so you'll be able to stream over here you'll be able to capture and do all of this in 4k or whatever resolution that you want this was a video that is a little different than I've normally done before and uh, hopefully it was helpful to you if it was please give it a thumbs up uh, if you'd like to be able to subscribe for more content please do that down below and ring that bell for future notifications when I upload new videos if you do like the Elgato 4K60 Pro and are interested in purchasing it, below is going to be an uh, affiliate Amazon link that you can use to be able to purchase that, and it helps me out as well. Don't forget, I also stream on Twitch, links down below, uh, usually on the weekends if you want to catch me live and ask me questions in person.